recording. Okay, so we are talking about um I'm talking about resources and competences. What so what's a resource? We said a resource could be any asset or process or skill or whatever. It ranges from human resources to physical resources to financial resources and intellectual resources. Then competencies are basically activities or processes in which an entity uses its resources. There's noise in someone's background. Okay. So competencies, so this is the difference between resource and competence. Competencies are the activities or processes in which an entity uses its resources. So when we say something is a competency or competence, it's basically created by you bring resources together and use them effectively. You bring resources together and use them effectively. That, that's what makes a competence. You bring it together and use it effectively. So you bring, for example, human resources together, financial resources together, intellectual capital together, and you use it effectively. That's when it becomes a competence. A competence. A competence. A competence. So you have two types of competencies. You have threshold competencies and core competencies. You have threshold competencies and core competencies. So so threshold competencies are basically um, features that are sufficient or minimum features that are sufficient to meet customer needs. You know, and core competencies are processes or features or abilities that are critical success factors and are required to for the organization to achieve competitive advantage. So you have core competencies, you have threshold. Core competencies, like the word suggests core, it means that it's critical, it's integral, it's um, necessary. So these are features or processes or abilities that help to achieve critical success, success factors and are required for achieving competitive advantage. Threshold competencies are basically minimum features that are sufficient to meet customer needs. You know, the basic you have to do to meet customer needs. You know, the basic you have to do to meet customer needs. But that's the difference, threshold and core competencies. Then we move on to competitive advantage. Today we've talked a lot about CSF, we talked a lot about KPI, we talked a lot about benchmarking and how all of them help us to achieve um, help us to achieve competitive advantage. You know, all of them help us to achieve competitive advantage. So so this is also like important. Very, very important. And competitive advantage is like the advantage you have over other competitors because you bring more value to the table. You bring more value to the table. One way to achieve competitive advantage is through your strategic capabilities. Your strategic capabilities. You know, your capabilities, you are what you are able to do, you know, what you are able to do. So you can achieve competitive advantage through your strategic capabilities and you can achieve competitive advantage also through cost efficiencies, cost efficiencies. And there are two ways of achieving cost efficiency. Number one is through economies of scale. Number two, economies of scope. 
economies of scale and economies of scope. Now, these two concepts usually confuses people. Usually confuses people a lot. We have economies of scale and economies of scope. Economies of scale and economies of scope. It usually confuses, I see it confuses a lot of people. So what's economies of skills? Economies of skills is basically achieving reductions in your average costs. Achieving reductions in your average costs of production by basically increasing your output increasing your output you know as you produce more you become a lot more efficient at it so it reduces your average cost per unit your average cost this, this is like basic economics so that's economics of scale when we say scale it means um, to expand to produce more so the economies you get or the efficiencies you derive from producing more or increasing the volume of your output. The volume of your output. So that's one. That's one. Then you have two. It's economies of scope. Economies of scope. Economies of scope. So economies of scope, you are anticipating reduction in costs by producing two or more products. So that the entity who makes all the products achieves lower cost per unit than the entity who produces only one of their products. So what, what's an example? An example is um an example is somebody who produces let's say toothbrush and pepsodent you know with toothbrush and pepsodent you might achieve economies of scope now i'm producing only toothbrush or only toothpaste so that's economies of scope you are achieving reduction in costs by producing two or more products you know so that you that make the you that make more product, you achieve lower costs because you become efficient at doing it. Economies of scale is one product and producing more of it. Economies of scope, um, two or more products and producing more of it. So two different things, two different things, and that's how you achieve cost efficiency. Please, any questions so far? Okay. Yes, there are no questions. Okay, there are no questions. Okay. So you have, let's talk a little bit about this model. 